Okay, recently I've been experimenting with Dr. Stifler's SEC Exciter. Now, I've been trying different approaches of achieving a similar effect, but using different things. Now, this morning I've come up with a Dual Thief SEC Exciter, and this is it. Now, the top half of this prototyping board contains the Dual Thief, and the bottom part is just some LEDs with an Avramenko plug and a couple of inductors in series. Now, this here is a 4 kilovolt trigger transformer. The transistor I'm using is a 2N2222. This is a 4.7 microfarad uh, capacitor and it's across the uh, two connections of this 1K pot. That's my toroid, it's actually out of a CFL bulb, it's absolutely microscopic. It's 10 millimeters in outside diameter and there's a penny there for reference. Now the circuit is running and it's drawing between 39 and 40 milliamps, it just flicks between 39 and 40. Now I'll connect the Apermenko plug now. Now, there's high voltage in this trigger transformer and it's actually having some form of effect on these already. They're just glowing slightly and that's just because it's radiating some energy. Now, the tray I'm actually exciting is this one here. Now, I can show you that with my detector. And it's a real strong field. You know, it extends quite far out. Now, this pan here is being excited by this tray and I've got a lead coming from that going to an Apermenko plug and a wire from the Apermenko plug goes to this tray. It's just basically acting as a, uh, a virtual ground and that's really bright and that's from this, this pan here. Now if I connect these LEDs with this lead which is connected to this pan which is being excited from that tray. So I'll connect that to the first inductor. You can see them all growing really bright. Now look at the amp drawer, it's the same. It's not moved. Now I can actually move this pan over so it physically touches that tray. These just, lights just go crazy. The amp drawer is the same. Now, I can show you a neon lighting as well of this. There's a neon bulb. If I just touch that to the tray, that's glowing. Now it lights both sides of the neon as well, which is interesting. But this amp drawer just does not move however I load it. I can actually put the pan on there. Lights blazing. Amp draws 39 milliamps. These trays here are virtual grounds. This one here is a virtual ground for these here. Now I've done a circuit diagram to show you what I've actually been doing. I'll scan it slowly so you can see it. Now I tried it with a bigger toroid and the amp draw went crazy. So it just seems to be balanced uh, for that very small tiny toroid. So if you're going to replicate this anybody, start off with the tiny toroid from a CFL and uh, just work from there. Okay, thanks for watching.